Good evening. Tonight I'm going to read from uh, my daily devotional, Isaiah 6, verse 3, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18. And this is something that I need to work on. I need to pray for deliverance because this is something that I that relates that I can relate to. I am calling you to a life of thankfulness. I want all your moments to be punctuated with thanksgiving. The basis of your gratitude is my sovereignty. I am the creator and controller of the universe. Heaven and earth are filled with my glorious presence. When you criticize or complain, you are acting as if you think you could run the world better than I do. From your limited human's perspective, it may look as if I'm mismanaging things, but you don't know what I know or see what I see. If I pulled back the curtain to allow you to view heavenly realms, you would understand much more. However, I have designed you to live by faith, not by sight. I lovingly shield you from knowing the future or seeing into the spirit world. Acknowledge my sovereignty by giving thanks in all circumstances. I'm learning to look at all of these, like, like a brother in Christ earlier said, you sure have a lot of problems. And I, and I do, I, I do. I mean, it's just makes a lot of people's head spin. But <clears throat> I'm learning to look at them as the sword I'm looking for. I'm growing lessons, learning from them. I do need to work on not complaining so much. I do do that. Um, sometimes when things start to go wrong, one, and maybe some of you guys can relate, where it just seems like when you start to get your head above water, something else happens. And it's like one problem after another, after another, after another, after another. And it doesn't seem to be any ends in sight. Where it just becomes routine. Our mindset, for a long time, can be used to problems. And we're used to having that mindset. Our Heavenly Father wants us to put our faith and trust in Him. Because... His plans for us are all good. They're all good. So, we look at these as lessons, learning, that makes us stronger. <laughs> Matthew 7, verse 7. Ask, and you shall be given you seek and you shall find knock and it shall be opened to you prayer also requires that you be persistent we have to incorporate faith into our prayers in order for them to be effectual when we are praying we should not be moved <coughs> excuse me by what we do or what we don't see maintain the belief that your prayers will come to fruition 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 sorry don't pray from a place of begging Pray in a manner that speaks victory and thanksgiving because your prayers will be surely answered. <clears throat> Dear God, I thank you that in you I have victory. May I never be moved by what my eyes see or don't see. May I only be moved by the faith that is in me because that is what truly matters. <clears throat> my prayers are full of thanksgiving and my heart remains at rest. I give you all the praise. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Some of you know, you know, I, I posted my story, you know what happened, and um I had a lot of anger in me for a long time. I mean it <clears throat> I mean deep, deep anger. I was trying to get acceptance from the world. I was always treated like, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but, um, I don't mean to, but, um, I would just, I'm, I'm getting to something with this. <clears throat> I was always treated like the outcast, the one that people won't even take a picture with, you know? Um, I had it all wrong. Like, why am I trying to get acceptance from this world? This world's dark. This world's evil. Who cares what anybody thinks? And that is something I need to, that I am still working on. Our Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior. No one else. No one else. Their opinion, no, nobody else's opinions matter, only theirs. 
So for a long time, um, I had anger. And I would go out and dabble in drugs. Because I would say, I just want a couple of hours of forgetting reality. And having a smile on my face before I get back to reality. <clears throat> but every time I got doing this, I God, I don't want to do this, God. Save me. And I'd pray. I'd be on my knees praying. God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Why am I still doing it? I don't want to do it. Constant being in strong prayer. God, please help me. Save me. And he did. That life is way in the past. Doesn't mean I still don't struggle. But that... It's hard to explain. Um, yeah, I still, I, I, do I still have moments? Like when my daughter um, was told she could have cancer, you know. Um, I still have those moments, you know, of crying. But it's different now. That, that internal darkness that I had for a long time, <clears throat> going to bed crying, waking up crying, 24-7 for years, is gone. That anger I had in me is gone. Now, I'm not perfect. We're not perfect. Only Jesus is perfect. If we fall, Jesus doesn't show us away. He's there with open arms. That's the difference between the Christians and the ones that don't live for Christ. If we stumble, he's there with open arms. We run to his arms. So, if you're if you're praying, if there's something in your life that, that you know shouldn't be there, you're saying, well, I'm still praying and, and it's still there and it, does God hear me? God hears you. God loves you. God will answer your prayers. Be persistent. Be persistent. Don't give up. I prayed every night for a long time. Not, not even every night. I mean, <clears throat> morning, noon, and night. Constantly praying. Save me, God. Remove this out of my life. Remove this desire to do this. Because I would do it, but I wouldn't want to do it. I was... I was looking at it wrong. Because the only way we can have that internal peace is through Jesus Christ. Not through drugs, not through alcohol. So, don't give up praying. Your prayers will be answered. Just because we don't see our prayers answered right away doesn't mean they won't be answered. God's timing's perfect. They will be answered. I promise you. And the closer we get to the rapture, the world's getting darker. You know, um, a uh, brother in Christ mentioned this. I never thought about this, but um, the pandemic and, you know, the you-know-what that they wanted everybody to take that we didn't take. <clears throat> a lot of people did. I'm not saying it's changing people, but it sure seems, I'm not saying 100% it's changing people, but he mentioned, well, since the, you know what, people are changing and people are getting darker. People are getting more angry. People are getting more judgmental. And he, he mentioned about the pandemic and that thing that they want us to take and maybe it's changing people. Could be. But what I do know is there's more and more darkness in the world because we're getting close to tribulation. So Jesus, our Heavenly Father, the Bible told us that this would happen in the last days. How people would be. How the world would be. <laughs> Jasmine just came up. Hello, Jazzy. Hello, Jazzy. And why are you... Oh my gosh, you're not getting a cookie. No. You you got to protect your kidney. Oh my gosh. Every bone in her body shaking right now because she knows my mother has cookies in the other room. You can, no, no. Oh, oh, this is what you want. You want my start? No. Hold on. Hold on one second. I don't know what she wants. You're not getting a cookie. You want cookie? Cookie? Yeah, no, that's what you want. But, um, <coughs> mommy's going to menopause. Now I lost my train of thought. Sorry, guys. I do that a lot because I'm going through menopause. My memory stinks. But, oh, okay. Um, 
the closer we get to the rapture, people are going to be getting nastier. The world's going to be getting darker. Imagine how bad the tribulation is going to be. We're not appointed to it. We're not going to go through it. We are the bride of Christ. Our sins have been washed clean. We aren't going to go through it. We're not in the tribulation. This is a Fiji vacation on a white sand beach compared to what the tribulation is going to be. But it is coming. And, you know, um, a lot of your comments have really helped me a lot. Like that comment about COVID and, you know, people are changing maybe because, of, you know what. And um, another uh, sister in Christ mentioned, well, you know, uh, the Bible told us this would happen and people are getting darker and darker. And, you know, it's um, it helped. Because um, that's true. we got to armor up. Because the closer we do get to the rapture, people are going to be getting darker. Hold on, ja Jasmine. People are going to be getting darker. People are going to be getting nastier, meaner, colder. Imagine how bad the tribulation is going to be. You don't want to be here. When you walk with Christ and you've repented and you live for Christ, you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came down from heaven, born of a virgin, lived a sin-free life. He never sinned. Took on our sin on the cross. He went through all of that for us, knowing we were still going to sin. But on the third day, he defeated hell, death, and the grave. If you live for Christ, you truly live for Christ, and you believe that he is the saved, the only way to heaven, the only way to God the Father, the shedding of his blood, come on, washes our sins clean, past, present, and future, you are rapture ready. And we're all meeting at the brownie table. Sorry, I had to pause the video and let Jasmine out again. <laughs> if I held the back door open and just said, come on in, come on out, come on in, come on out. She would just go, boing, boing, boing. <laughs> I mean, I literally just let her in. Now she wanted to go out again. But anyway, see, you lost my train of thought again. But um, <laughs> yeah. You will be rapture ready. So if you're thinking to yourself... Am I worthy? You know, I, 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 I worry I'm not worthy. None of us are worthy. But if you try to be the best servant you can be, you believe Jesus is the Savior, you're rapture ready. Well, um, before I sign off, I thought I'd share, I, I saw this recipe online. And <laughs> it's, uh, it doesn't look so good. It tastes kind of okay, but it looks there. It looks, it looks horrible, guys. Um, it's taken two boxes of strawberry cake, strawberry cake mix, and then the large box of jello mix. Put in the strawberry cake first, put in the jello mix, mix it together. Then, cup of butter, four cups of milk, and frozen strawberries. And you put it on high in a crock pot for three hours, and then the last hour you put it on low. Now, I was out working. I asked my mother, I said, can you lower it to low? And she said yes, and then she forgot, so it was on. It kind of looks like a big tub of gooey slime. <laughs> it, looks, it looks horrible, guys. But it it tastes good. Yeah, if you want to give it a try. Um, there's also another recipe I found. It's going and getting that. It's spice cake mix. Spice cake mix. And... Um, Two cans of apples. Put the apples in the crock pot. Put the spice cake mix in the crock pot. Um, butter. There's several little things of butter on the top. And um, if you want to, it's optional. Sprinkle in a little um, cinnamon on it, but you don't have to. And yeah, cook it on the low for four hours and it tastes like apple pie. So, but this thing, right? I'm afraid to eat it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to give it a shot here. So, just some recipes I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, one other recipe that's actually very good in your crock pot, and it, it, it goes for a couple of days, is um, get cream cheese, chicken breasts, and you know how they have those, um, the, the uh, saute and seasoning things that say like buffalo wild wings, parmesan garlic, you know, that the, you know, the, the things, you know, the things you're going with it. Um, that you know you can saute it in that so um you get the chicken and then you um 
I put mushrooms in it and onions, but that's optional. And then you pour that Parmesan garlic, Buffalo Wild Wings Parmesan garlic, on top of it. And then a cube of, I, I use the low-fat um, cream cheese, put that on top of it. And um, season to taste and then put it on rice. Y'all, let me tell you, that is really good. It's really good. So, just some recipes I thought I'd share with you guys. So, um, but um, hang in there, family. Um, thank you for um, all your support. Thank you for all your prayers and your encouragement. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll all meet at the marriage supper at the brownie table. Let's pray it is this year. God bless you. Keep looking up, and I will talk to you soon.